Top of the morning to you. Nameless here, bringing you a brand new video, man. This is going to be a good one. Freaking out of my Toronto Ultra mug. And I hope you guys had a fantastic week, man. I sure as hell did. The matches were incredible. Uh, every single team, we've learned a little bit more about them. We're seeing the teams at the bottom take a step forward, and some of the teams at the top take a step back. You look at LA Thieves, you look at Optic, and you're wondering what's going wrong. So that's what I'm here for. I'm going to break down some of their games, and we're going to see exactly what's going wrong. So you guys don't have to contemplate anymore. You don't have to listen to the rumors or think, you know, one player is particularly getting smoked. Like, let's just jump into it and see the mistakes that everyone is making. But, uh, you know, aside from that, I want to talk a little bit about the league's landscape as it stands right now. It's extremely competitive. Group Bravo is insane. I mean, Seattle Surge looked disgusting in their last match. Like, it wasn't luck. They were strategically sound in all three game modes. They looked great. Gunless arrived. Octane played fine. Uh, it, it just looked good and then you look at another team like mutineers where they come out and they beat optic chicago and they look unreal slack had one of his best series all season long so they look good and then london they look great as well paul Alexis came in and he's been frying opening up the map for players like zed and dylan and new york subliners continue to fight tooth and nail to get their win get the respect that they're due like are they a top two team we don't know, man, but there's only one thing that's for sure, and that is that FaZe is the best team in the game, and all these other teams are trying to catch up, and that's what we're going to be doing in this breakdown series that I'm doing on YouTube, is figuring out what these teams are doing wrong that FaZe isn't. All right, so let's get right into this, and this is Op Chicago versus the Florida Mutineers. We're going to dive into map one hard point and continue throughout the series to see exactly what is going wrong with this roster. Yeah, they just, I mean, the Mutineers just couldn't go. They couldn't collapse. I mean, you get middle control, but then they had to flood towards Laundry. They don't find the kills. Scump's so good at this game, guys. Be able to take down two. They're getting all this time. Scump knows with 20 seconds left. All right, guys, so this is what, something I want to point out here. What is Dashy and Formal doing right now? So Formal is in the hill. He's holding this uh, rotation here by himself on top ring. Why is Dashy still here? Dashy should either be backing up and playing uh into kitchen to help scump mid like right now a, a good solid discipline team a player is wrapping back to kitchen right here and he's watching mid to help his teammates out and get those kills mid so right now that she's just sitting at old with with formal luckily scump's going huge like he's going huge by the way like this is not gonna happen normally like player's not gonna get six kills mid he's frying it's very slow and he kind of turns it up as the match goes on but there we go dash he moved over to mid a little bit late but it's fine five spree i think this the is scump went off by the way the king is frying right now one by one chopping him down we'll see if he can add on to this slack do you want it again you do here it is another kill for scump six in a row neptune hello would you like to be greeted you like why why I, this is what i don't understand why is formal not watching the back he's the only guy that spawned there why is he hitting the hill gets the artillery. that is like so obvious you have when you like it's a mini map rotation guys so when you spawn you <laughs> when you spawn in the back as soon as the person that gives up the back you pick it up there's still 45 seconds left they're gonna be trying to go around they're not gonna head smash into the front of the hill formal gives up the back so they get around so as soon as they get around this bend and formal's not back here anymore it forces the players to spawn basketball if, if formal's on this tree and he's fighting this guy if this guy doesn't get around this bend his teammates will still spawn here or even if they do end up spawning basketball they have a route to come back up to assist so formal going Star inside of the hill from Scott, brave mistake there man inside a kitchen early it'll be mutineers uh, guys listen the score after this hill would have been 85 to like kills. what 10 able to deal with that, like that so we could have been about a 60 point lead yeah. to be about 10 uh, to 15 that's points. unacceptable oh um, boy loses the one-on-one -on -one versus neptune b Wait, and then what what happens there is like since they lose that hill bat since they lose that and they spawn basketball they hit the hill again and Neptune, easy to be and since Flor since florida mutineers were holding it from the front they were able to also rotate as well as get the remaining time because there's only a few doors you can come in from the back of the hill so you can hold it from the front if you successfully break that but we just don't see it often so mutineers are able to pull that off while simultaneously rotating and setting up for new which puts optic in a very tough spot the early they lost the one gunfight that they had yeah, at least and now up. mutineers we'll are set up in new off later in the game, so you can see just one easy decision from yeah, watches back this is completely there, different some kind of foothold in the heart he's just trying to fly on through but scump and dashy deal nice with that the last player was all the way across now push up go dashy get into kitchen time. Like go into kitchen here. Now they have to work. Playing very, very scared. All the way. You don't have to sit this far back. Like as soon as you get those kills, one of you guys can go into kitchen. Like you have, like in this hill, the all the the optimal setup is to have kitchen. It's like either Dashy goes to the tree here and watches the bag instead of Scump pushing up and challenging it, 
or and then dashi goes or and then skump goes kitchen or like skump holds the back from this rock here and dashi goes kitchen the but instead they're go, giving the up full kitchen control which i don't necessarily yeah, agree with maybe that first wave of kills is so big you comfortably get 20 to 30 seconds so they get all this time now the next hit you see what happens though if you give them kitchen they can just get out with one kill and then they have a push right so now they have an opportunity if dashi's in kitchen he gets kill or two even if he dies man he can spawn up and have another fight you got to give Soul yourself opportunities for mutineers you know i'm take... sorry man if i was the coach of this team i would be absolutely roasting them yeah. for how they're playing this Several trying to get back into the mix and they get broken the like guys go, as a former player this is extremely frustrating to watch down, you get the break on your next and then look at the gunfights they're there. able to win like formal wins <laughs> that nice in the head it, the in the heady like that's insane guys, like there's so much the talent so after all over to first but the play out of dashi picking up ring with the ar in hand just taking a look at the aerial view of this beautiful courtyard lily pads Probably some fish there, but well, in comes slot next to an awakening. They just lost the gunfight, sir. It's like they had a good the setup. Awakening they all lost their gunny. For him. And they get a crucial break when they need it. Still up a few points, but this is where I find Optic to be at their worst on, in these types of situations. So let's see how they do here. So nice, big three yeah, kills. There we go. Scump goes big, dude. He's so good at this game, guys. He's so good, man. He had so such a good series here. Good He's you. making Here's all the Optic pivotal, huge plays for the squad. Control, and they'll be set up for the first hard point in our second set of rotation. All right, but like they've gotten broken on every hill, so don't Just get broken here. A tie game as we now transition over to our game field feature player. The last player from Optic is going to be Scump. He's going to wait for his teammates to get pushed up. At That's unacceptable, guys. That's that simply unacceptable, man. And this hill is so bad for them. Yeah, these breaks have been pretty solid for yeah, them. Considering it, everything they've had to do, they take the lead. Well, yeah, it's like, it's like Optic wins those I think Scump still has the artillery, spot, too, right? He's had it since one on one or whatever it is at Courtyard. Doesn't go there. So, like, dude, you know, we're talking about 100 the points that they've missed out on so Kitchen yeah, alone. Like, this game should be over. They should have won 250 to 130. You guys know that, right? That should have been the score. 250 to 130 should be over. Okay, guys, so this is where the game basically goes to shit. Okay, so he still has the artillery, so... On this, yeah, this rotation. So he has the artillery. This is, a good, this is a good position to have an artillery on this hill. execute this now to break basketball and secure them the game. But Awakening makes the a big player, player gets up, outside, it's kill. Nice awakening. play. So they're going to have to wait for Scum to come off spawn. Vanessa's by um, some course, time in rotation. Five, Did a good job. Three. Watches his cam as well. For him. And gets spawned in the back. It, and it's play on Awakening. There we go. Artillery activated. All right, so look, look. the comms to his team. So look right here guys you see that so he pings the artillery right gets the information i say use it here on this push it's 193 to 210 if you use the streak on this push they have to get inside or you get the kills and you get the back spawns now look how this plays out and boy there's one wins the kill in the back, though, shuts it he down. doesn't so use the streak kills. and awakening gets the two kills in the back because he doesn't have to run for cover now, if Scump uses it, he might kill Awakening or at least force them into Kitchen and they get the back and they get the spawns. He's but look what happens now. Yet. He wants to get inside a Kitchen. Get Brave him mistake. Map control, but Awakening with all four. Yeah, what's stronger, Artillery or Awakening? Apparently Awakening because he kills the entire team. He's a walking turret. And how massive that is. Five point edge for Mutineers. They cannot win it on this hard point, but they can get damn close. They're trying to push from the front, but Big Wake not letting it happen. Now 23 and 20. And wow. now he uses the street, guys. We're not even in position. We're trying to push front. You can't. In a row. You have to, Baron like, know when to use your streaks, man. It has to be strategic, dude. Elise like, it has to be. Now. Got that gets into it. You have to have a but plan. Fight, you can't just ping it. He's got a streak. Now, He's got a streak. And now he has a streak. Eight in a row. Basically, so he drops full streaks now for Awakening. And maybe enough to put the final dagger in. And, and also, shoot, the, huge the shout out to Big Wake. That play was disgusting, by the way. Optic didn't do it on the first rotation. The streak is in. But Optic, they get three kills. They get three kills. You still have the cruise missile, though. You still have one more if you need it. Skies, he's able to take down two. There's the missile getting called in. He's going to try and hit one. He calls out Scump, all four dead. Mutineers are in now. Optic, they have to go. Just 10 seconds to win. Optic, this is their chance to break and maybe extend this game. Everybody's set up, though, for Mutineers. Who's going to get the opening pick? Is it Envoy that's going to go huge? Nope, the crossfire is in. Everybody dropping everybody down. And all right, guys, I mean, you saw what happened, right? You see it. I, I showed you, and now you see it. That's what's going wrong, man.
a lot of issues in their game, dude. Uh, they're going to have to really figure out how to fix these problems. They got to go back. Uh, it seems like their comms are definitely all over the place. Um, their hard point looks weak. Looks very weak. It's mistake ridden. Uh, they have extreme amount of talent on this team, which is why it's even still so competitive. Uh, but they're putting themselves in good situations. They're getting broken because they're not getting the optimal setup. Their kitchen setup was absolutely atrocious on both on both counts. They have to fix it, man. Uh, this is a team that I have very high hopes for. Uh, I think Optic can be a perennial contender. Um, they have great players. They just have to put it together, man. It's on the coaching staff and on the players to figure this out. It's glaring errors to go back and fix. It won't change that much of their individual game if they can fix these problems on that individual level the team can be a lot better i mean i'm looking at players like dashy to make the right plays rotate and set up properly formal made a huge grave mistake on kitchen the first time around and then skump the second time around all all of these players are individually making mistakes man it's not one singular player's fault it's all the players on the squad you can't fault one person it is not you can't do that guys that's not okay i've been seeing social media calling out dashy a lot and while i do think dashy makes a lot of mistakes it's everyone on the roster guys so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will do a part two which will be the remainder of the series otherwise this video will be like 35 minutes long um but yeah if you guys like these breakdown videos let me know i'll make more of them i'm gonna do an la thieves one uh going forward in my next video uh but i thank you guys for watching once again and until next time guys it's been real i'm nameless check me out on socials in the description below and I'm fueled by XP Sports. Peace out. Oh, they're all looking. Got three down. Yeah. He's inside, inside.